everyone, John Reed here, author of 50 Things to See with a Telescope. And last night, July 13th, 2020, I saw Comet Neowise. So I was joined by astrophysicist Tiffany Fields. Tiffany and I worked together at the Burke Gaffney Observatory while I was doing my undergrad, and she was finishing up her master's degree in astrophysics. And so this comet, we actually, we were downtown, the light pollution was bad. We couldn't see it with our naked eye. So how did we find it? So ultimately what we did, um, I put this camera on that tracking mount. I downloaded the comet into the mounts database and polar line the mount and the mount pointed right at the comet. We took, uh, I believe it was an eight second exposure. Um, and that was enough to bring the comet into view in the picture. So we zoomed in, we lined up the buildings um, that were in, in, in view, and we were able to sort of triangulate our position for where to point the binoculars. And so here was, well, at least Tiffany's reaction, which was swell. Enjoy. <laughs> so I am here with Tiffany Fields, famous astrophysicist. I am John Reed. We are here at Halifax, Nova Scotia, July 13th. And Tiffany has just spotted Comet Neowise and she is looking to find it again. I've got the camera set up on a star tracker here with sort of a jerry, jury rig, jerry rig? I never know. Uh, DSLR camera here. Um, I think the, the comet's in frame there, waiting for it to get a little bit darker. It is quarter to 10, 10 o'clock, something like that. Um, Anyway, and we are lucky because according to Apple, it is completely overcast. And that's partially true. Behind us, it's totally overcast, but right where the comet is supposed to be, it is clear. And there it is, Comet Neowise. How do you feel? I am amazed. I, this is so exciting. And so what did you do? How did you photograph the comet? I have my phone on a tripod um, and Google has this really cool thing called astrophotography mode that I didn't know about until tonight. Uh, so I've been taking some long exposure shots on my phone and getting the comet. It's, it's really cool. Amazing. So right now it's right over the bridge here and so we think it's going behind some clouds because it's getting dimmer but uh, definitely in the DSLR um, we've got it and hopefully I'll be able to stack together um, some images and see the tail but I think we're gonna call it a night and uh, was it worth it? Absolutely! Absolutely! <laughs>